Hey everyone, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card with our Coming Up Peony stamp set. Now this is a four by six set and it features this beautiful bouquet of peonies. Now I'm going to white heat emboss this onto some watercolor paper, but before I ink anything up, I'm going to brush on some anti psych powder onto the paper. Then I'll ink up the stamp with some clear embossing ink. Then I'm going to stamp my watercolor paper panel using my original size Misty. Once I poured on the white embossing powder, I'll hit the whole panel with the heat tool, melting all that powder. Then I'm going to do some watercoloring with some Dr. P.H. Martin's Radiant Concentrated Watercolors. I have these liquid watercolors in my ceramic palette and I made this swatch chart so I know exactly which color is where so that I don't get it mixed up later on. So the liquid watercolors had dried out because I keep them in a drawer when not in use so that dust doesn't get into them. So now I'm just going to reactivate the watercolors by putting a drop of water in each of the channels using my water brush. I basically use my water brush as an eyedropper. So now I'm just going to do some wet and wet watercoloring, which basically means that you're painting on wet paper. So I wet the petal area of my largest open face peony with clean water. And then I started dropping in some of this moss rose liquid watercolor into the inner portions of my peony petals. And I'm using a fine tip water brush to apply the watercolor pigment. Then I have another fine tip water brush, but this one I'm keeping it clean. I'm using this one to blend that color out towards the outer edges of my petals. And I'm just going to repeat the process until the entire peony is colored in with this base color of moss rose. Once I have my base layer of moss rose, I just added some orange to my peony centers and then I kind of pulled some of that orange watercolors to the petals surrounding that center and I kind of just did this really quickly and I didn't do it to all the petals, I just did it to the petals that are directly next to that peony center. Now I'm just going to add some additional moss rose pigment in deeper concentrations into the inner portions of my peony petals to add some additional shading. After I do this, I will add some cherry red to the same inner portions of the petals to give it a little bit more shading. So I'm adding colors layer by layer onto my peony petals. You're probably asking, why don't I just add the cherry red paint instead of that second layer of moss rose. And for me, I'm just building my layers. You can skip that second layer of moss rose and just go directly and paint with that cherry red. But watercolor is a very delicate medium. And when you layer colors like this over each other, you can add more depth and interest to your project. But if you're in a hurry and you don't feel like taking that extra step of adding that second layer of the moss rose, it really doesn't hurt to add that cherry red directly over that first base layer. I'm sure that it'll look really, really nice. But for me, I just decided to go that extra step to add the extra depth to my painting. So once I finished coloring in that open face beautiful peony, I went ahead and painted the rest of the peonies in my bouquet. Since these are smaller buds and they're kind of more in the background, I just added one layer of moss rose and one layer of cherry red because these are the extra elements and not really the focus of the actual panel. So once I finish coloring in the smaller buds, I'm just gonna add some color to my stems and leaves using the sap green from the same watercolor collection. And now my painting is complete. Once it's dried, I die cut the image using the coordinating die. 
but I did not use enough purple tape to tape the die down. So the paper shifted while it was running through my electronic die cutting machine. So instead of scrapping this whole project, I actually decided to salvage it by taping the negative portion around the die cut piece. I just used scotch tape for the back of my panel and then I ran the entire image through my die cutting machine once more, but this time I made sure to use enough purple tape so that it wouldn't shift again. Next, I'm going to white heat emboss our glass windows background stamp onto some navy cardstock. Before I emboss, I brushed my anti sag powder onto the panel, then I stamped the image onto the cardstock and I used my Baron tool to apply even pressure to get a nice crisp impression. Then I poured on some white embossing powder and melted that powder with my heat gun. I really thought this was a lovely, classy, and chic background pattern to use as a backdrop for my beautiful watercolor peonies. Next, I popped up my peonies onto the backdrop and trimmed off any excess pieces. Then off camera, I white heat embossed the sentiment onto gray cardstock and popped that up. Lastly, I added some of our glass slipper sequins onto my panel. I added them in visual triangles all over my panel and I used my ThermoWeb Ultra Bond Liquid Adhesive to glue on the sequins and my project is now complete. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it on a regular basis. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time.